Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back, everyone, again to the beginning of the second period. Ronnie Medine here with you as the Musketeers come back on the ice. What a first period it has been. It's been a goal with 0.5 seconds left and a lot more. Apparently there's going to be a chant going on with some of the high school cheerleaders. Some booze from the Sioux Falls fans. That's what happens when you're in Sioux City playing Sioux Falls. <clears throat> All right, I guess this is the cheer right here, I'm guessing. That was a very arrogant cheer. <laughs> I don't think that was even a cheer, to be honest with you. I don't think that was even a cheer, to be honest. <laughs> anyway, let's get on to the beginning of the first period. And right now, for some reason, half the players aren't on the ice. We have all of Sioux Falls, well, except for one Sioux Falls player. And then all the, now everyone except for the goaltenders are going back to the bench. Now we have three Musketeers, two linesmen, and a ref near center. Right now we have Steinmetz, Brink, and it looks like Martin Poss was on the ice. Right now, oh, now Anthony. R R now, well, now here comes a couple more. So I think we're ready to play some hockey. Martin Possessel's going to take the draw. The top line starting tonight. The top line at center ice. Making sure the goaltenders are okay. And I think our little delay is over. Excuse me, it was about a minute delay or something like that. Anyway, well, <clears throat> here comes Anthony Kerr down ice to Bobby Brink. A night, and then a hit there. Martin Pospis will off the boards. It will come all the way back to the captain, Marco Riefenberger. And that one will go off the board. Stolen Bobby Brink on the break. He'll go it to the left and won't get there. Pospis will fire as one goes just wide to the left. And now picked up again by Brady Smith. Here comes Alvin Nielsen, back behind the bench, passing in, we'll get it. Passing in, passes it off the boards to Brady Smith, went off a stick, and then it will clear down ice behind. Chad Veltry gave up a goal in the first to Martin Pospisil. That was his fourth of the year, 18th point of the season for Martin Pospisil. Brady Smith to Brock Baker, Parker Ford will get it and drop it. I'm assuming that's right, right? Anyway, Johnson will get it to the left to Matt Kessel. Now Kessel will now get it behind. And then Ian Malcolmson picks it up and a shot and a slapper couldn't get through it. Here comes Brady Smith off the boards down ice. We are now down to 18 and a half to go now here in the second. Well, my finger got caught in the tripod. <laughs> Matt Kessel got it, and it was my, you know, middle finger that got caught in the tripod. Ryan Stevens now with it. Man, what a move! Tip by Passanen, and wow, 22 and 26, Ander Lee, 
and Parker Ford will try to get to it after it went up in the air. It'll come all the way back to Yepe Europe and down ice it goes. For a missed icing, Nolan Krenzen picks it up. Jack Babbage now with it. Babbage steals it again. Next time the Musketeers are at home, they will be. it will be Tuesday against Waterloo, who they played in the home opener and lost to. Josh Boleyn, first time out here tonight for him. Fire shot stopped by Ben Cross. Cronilla back in behind. Under the linesman, missed by Crozier and goes down ice for a missed icing. Max Crozier all the way back to Aaron Grounds. He steals it. Grounds shot in the stop by Chad, Chad Beltre. Let's see, do we have an update on the Dodgers game versus, uh, not yet, really. They're in the bottom of the third inning. And that's all we know of. There's n no scores yet. Eduardo Rodriguez so far looks pretty good. Rich Hill looks pretty good too. Max Muncy is up against their Eduardo Rodriguez. It looks like Max Muncy, he was the hero of the game last night. Face off one, it will come all the way back off the board that goes to Crozier. He mishandles it all the way back out to Matt Cameron. Tabakin missed it and picks it up again. Brandon Tabakin, second year player. Last year played for Sioux Falls. And it'll come all the way back to Matt Cameron again. Right on front, shot, stop, cross, rebound, oh! It caroms in! It was on the, it went through cross five hole, and he couldn't get it in time. It went from the goal line, it barely reaches over. It goes in the, pur well in this case it's purple, but the rest of the time it's white. There was a glimpse of purple there, that is for sure. It struck the side of the cage. Well, that was a bad goal for Ben Cross to give up. Anthony Carr, oh, Sioux Falls steals it again. Out out in front, couldn't get there. Ian Malcolmson off the boards. Marco Riefenberger gives it now to board chart all the way back out to the point by Kessel and a shot and a stop by Ben Cross. Face off left of Ben Cross. That was just a bad goal for him to give up. And now Ryan Johnson in behind. Here comes Anthony R Romano. All the way back in behind to Matt Miller. It will go off the boards down. Nice. Excuse me, Ryan Johnson now with it. 15 minutes and 53 seconds to go now here in the second. A lot of chanting here in the crowd, that is for sure, off the boards. I will go to Anthony Romi Romano, rather, sorry. Luke Johnson off the boards and he gets hit hard. It was right in front of the penalty box, too. It will come all the way back down the ice to McGregor. Deflected off a stick, Matt Kessel. And now Tommy Pazanen goes down. Well, he tried to get it, but it was blocked by Sioux Falls, I believe. 15-10 to go now here in the second. Smith down ice. Could've, he took a little bit of a slapper down ice, but it was blocked at center. Tommy Pazanen, a flicker up high. Brock Baker gets it. All the way into the corner behind Chad Veltry. Now we're over to four, or excuse me, 14.50 to go now here in the second. 
It will come all the way back to Jack Babbage. Fires one up high off the glass. It will come all the way back out in front. Sioux City gets it to Babbage. Fires one. It goes wide. Here comes Sioux Falls on the breakaway. And the shot goes wide from Ryan Sullivan. He got close there. All the way right out in front. Stevens can get the, to it. Here comes Sioux City. Takes it. Here comes another steal by Sioux Falls, Matt Cameron. Matt Cameron, a shot uh, goes wide. Jordan Steinmetz gets it to the right. Nolan, uh, that, excuse me, Bobby Brink. And it's held up by Chad Veltri. Well, we'll take a quick break. We'll be right back right after this. Welcome back everyone to the second period. We have a World Series update. We are still tied at zero at the top of the fourth inning. So right now, J.D. Martinez is batting. Right now, Rich Hill is the pitcher. So right now, there's one ball and two strikes. A ball and two strikes as Matt Vaskersian, broadcaster of ESPN Sunday Night Baseball would say. Here comes Sioux Falls, they get it back. Brandon Tabakin off the boards, it goes. Then it hit there. Carer picks it up. Carer gives it now to Brink. Bobby Brink on the break. Brink flickered right out in front, still can't get there. Brink again, still was able to hold on to the puck. Brady Smith off a stick of Sioux Falls, goes a pie and wide. 13, 15 to go now here in the second. World Series update sponsored by Fox. Off the boards, it will go to Brady Smith. Gives it to Zach Plasinski. Down ice it goes. And the goaltender lost his stick. Chad Veltry lost his stick. Now he's playing with no goalie stick, and he makes a stop. Oh, uh, boys, he might want to grab the stick. There you go. The linesman gets it. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll discuss it once next play ends. Here it comes all the way back out to Tommy Pazin and gives it, unless it's a goal, Zach Plusinski gives it all the way back out. Right out in front, still can't get to it. 12.40 to go now here in the second period. Su Stampeder up 2-1 against the Sioux City Musketeers. Here it comes on the breakaway. Ben Cross will get it. He'll play it all the way behind. Off of Sioux Falls player, Jack Babbage now with it. Excuse me, gives it now to Josh Boleen. Boleen on the break. He gives it to the left to Brady Smith, and they will play it for an offside. So, stuff. Stuff to look forward to in the second intermission. We have... Um, uh, who's my favorite MLB team and why? And then we're going to have some scores from, from three out of the four. Well, actually, we'll do scores for three major sports. And then we'll look along to game or to week eight, rather, of the NFL season. Now, Ronnie's NFL show is still going on. It will be back in week nine. It is an icing, though. Face off to the left. It will come all the way back out to Brandon Tabakin. Tabakin now with it. Gives it across the net. Off the pipe. Here it comes all the way back out. Jay Kale now on the break. Here comes Sean Bunting on the breakaway. Bunting to the left to Jay Kale. Jay Kale off the boards. Clunker, that is for sure. Babbage. 
<laughs> Excuse me, I had a yawn, a yawn there for a second. I can't pronounce my words very well, can I? Anyway, we'll come all the way back down. Crozier will get it. Here it comes, Parker Ford. A shot goes up high. And then that puck goes off the boards and down the ice. Nolan Crenson now will pick it up. He'll fire it off the boards. And the hit. And no penalty come up. Oh, there is a penalty. It is going to be on Sioux Falls. And now a fight breaks out. Hopefully he's okay. The city could score on the power play right here. That's a dust. Here comes Bobby Brink. Brink now with it. It will go all the way back out to Johnson. To Rake fires one. It goes just by. Bobby Brink will pick it up again. Ten and three quarters remaining now here in this first. Here comes Parker Ford now with the 1038 remaining. And the second and will come all the way back. Sioux Falls has it. Here it comes on the breakaway. A shot tipped in into the safety netting by Ryan Sullivan. Face off to the left of Ben Cross. So far, no score at the bottom of the fourth inning, Boston and the Dodgers. Down I say will go now, and that's Blake Bride. It will come all the way back to Sioux City again. We'll get it. Jack Babbage will try to get it over. Jack Babbage gets it all the way. Oh, and he's, well, he could have gotten tripped by Blake Bride, but he didn't. That's kind of remarkable. Ten minutes to play now here in the second. Stampede leading two to one. And we'll go, there's a scramble for the puck in the corner. No one can get to it. They still can't get it. Finally, it squibs back out to Brady Smith. The Jack Babbage fires blocked in front. Now Brady Smith again. We'll give it to the left, right side. Fires on a misfire. Here it comes on the breakaway. Marco Riefenberger, he's hit. Here it comes picked up by Brady Smith. Smith will give it across to Jack Babbage. Babbage gives it, tipped off possible skit. And now here comes Brady Smith. Smith and he's tripped. Parker Ford with it. Martin Postle now will get it. 9.08 to go here in the second. Right the second, folks. Brian, or Brady Smith now with it. Excuse me. We'll get it now to Martin Postle. Now that I've been calling so much, my, my um, voice is starting to, you know, getting the scratch right now. <clears throat> I'll be sure how, I'm going to have to get another drink during intermission. Bobby Brink now with it. Off the boards it goes down nice. And I am a bit thirsty too, so. Anyway, it'll come all the way back out. Brock Baker now with it. He'll give it off the boards. Crozier down nice. Anthony Carrer down nice. Crozier again off the boards. And now Matt Cameron will try to get a chance to get it. Cannot. Tabakin picks it up now. Here comes Josh Bowling. Sorry I didn't have my camera on this side. I bet you guys don't want to stare at Ben Cross forever. Babbage just shot. Well, unless you have a crush on him. Down ice it goes. Now Babbage will pick it up. No, no not Babbage. I don't know what I was thinking there. It was Brian Chambers. Tommy Pazanin picks it up. 
sorry. Tommy passes and picks it up. He'll fling it down ice. It will go now to Chad Veltri. Veltri now with it. 7.36 to go now here in the second. Sioux, or Sioux Falls is leading 2-1 to one over Stampede. It will fling all the way back down the ice. <clears throat> I will come back to Luke Johnson. Luke Johnson now to Jake Hale. Hale on the breakaway. Goes to the left. Grounds a shot. Goes just wide. He was acquired in a trade from Omaha the, last year. That sent Matthew D. St. Val to Omaha. Oh, and a nice stop by Chad Veltri. That was nice. We'll take a break. When we come back, let's hope Sioux City can tie it. <laughs> 